Okay, modifiers look pretty simple. Right. How are the questions? Uh, this is the question which will have only modifier error, so this is pretty simple. Okay. And plus you know how to identify the modifier error. Yeah. So let's see if it becomes more simpler that way. Okay, so, we, so we're going to do questions. How many questions are going to be there in this? We'll do some four to five questions on modifiers. So we're going to do four to five questions and they would cover the misplaced, the dangling and the squinting. Right. That, that's how I'm yes. assuming. Yes. Okay. The squinting, uh, let's see. Let's see, okay. The first one. It says, despite having signed up for dance classes, the injury in her foot kept her away from salsa on the weekend. Right. Okay, despite having signed up for dance classes, now it says that the injury could not have sign, uh, been, uh, the injury could not have signed for the dance class. So there yes. has to be a person there. There has to be a person. So the easiest way to do it like, is uh, when you see classes and injury, yeah. so cut this choice. Yes. You don't have to go, you so don't have to read the choice. So eh? the, this is gone. Yeah. And uh, when this you look at... This is gone. You're right. And, you and you said two by three rules. So we have three which are possible. Right. So if I look at uh, choice B now, it so says... Despite having signed up for dance classes, she missed. So I keep it, right? So this looks fine. Right. And so see let's say... For for let's keeping up let's put uh, this and C choice says her foot injury right. despite so her what foot is injury is wrong now? that's wrong right because it's not her foot injury it's it's right. her it, it is she. she right and despite having signed up for dance classes her, her foot. foot so that means you don't have to read the choices so it's gone after you saw that after comma is something other than she you don't yeah. have to read the choices so it is very clear despite having signed up for dance class she missed the salsa week, uh, salsa on weekend because of injury in her foot. Right. Which is perfectly fine. And which is very easy to look at this video. Yes. So you don't have to even read all the choices. Absolutely. When you saw what the error is. How much time do, uh, how much time do we have for these kind of questions? This question you should uh, finish in 30 seconds if it is this simple. Okay. But generally on sentence correction question, two minutes. Okay. So what you're saying is that uh, give yourself 30 seconds to two minutes. Yes. And th this would, I think, would take less than 30 seconds. Two minutes, and it depends on the difficulty level of the question. If okay. it is very simple, do it in less than two minutes, so that you can save the time for reading comprehension questions. Absolutely. Okay, so do we go to the next, next yes. one? Next question? Okay. Arnold, who works at CNB, has a cola stain on his shirt that cannot be removed. Right. So, Arnold who works at CNB, okay, it, it's, it's... Now, the whole portion is in two commas. Yes. When something is in two commas, we yeah. call it a positive. A? A positive, A-P-P-O. A-P-P-O. Yeah, a positive. S-I-T-I-V-E. S -I -T -I -V -E. So, a positive means this is an additional information. Okay. So, it has, n uh, it has nothing to add to the meaning of the sentence. Okay. So, you can remove this from the sentence. Mm -hmm. That is, your whole sentence is, Arnold has a cola stain. So, mm -hmm. who works at CNB is just an additional information about Arnold. Right. So, now when you read the sentence, after that you have to find the... Okay. So, error. basically it says, Arnold who works at CNB has a cola stain on his shirt that cannot be removed. Right. You're saying, who works at CNB can be removed. It's uh, just additional information to give you a little more knowledge on Arnold. Right. Right? So, okay. Arnold who works at CNB has a cola stain on his shirt that cannot be removed. That's one. We don't read choice A. It is to save your it time. Is, it is, is already yeah, absolutely. It is right. the same one. Same yes. as the question. Yes. Always. Same as the question always. Don't read it. You'll waste time. Okay. We come to B. Arnold, comma, who works at CNB, comma, has on his shirt, comma, a cola stain that cannot be removed. So did you first of all locate the error in the uh, the original sentence? It's very important that you locate the error. Okay. So uh, Arnold who works at CNB has a cola stain on his shirt that cannot... Uh, it says shirt that cannot be removed. So that cannot be removed modifies shirt. Yes, yes. But shirt can easily be removed. Right. So what, uh, what we're looking for is stain that cannot Absolutely. be removed. Absolutely. Yes. Right, so it's a, a choice goes. Right. Now the choice B says shirt on his shirt a cola stain that cannot be removed. So we keep it because it's a stain that cannot be removed. Because because again the emphasis on stain, so yeah. Right. A possibility. Yes. So let's keep it as a possibility. And the choice C says Arnold who worked at CNB has cola stain sh stain shirt that cannot be removed. Again the shirt that cannot be removed. Yes. So not gone because so shirt can be removed. Anytime. Yes. 
is gone. And the on his shirt, Arnold works at CNBC as a cola stain. So this changes the meaning of his name. It changes the meaning. So this is not what the mm -hmm. thing is. This also goes. Working in CNB, comma Arnold has a cola stain on his shirt, which cannot be removed. So, so which modifies what? The shirt. So shirt can be removed. Yes. So so this also goes away. Right. So, so you're saying Arnold, who works at CNB, has on his shirt a cola stain that cannot be removed. Right, so because the emphasis was on the cola stain, whether that can be removed or not. Or not. And shirt cannot be removed is wrong, illogical thing. Yes. And then one more thing you have to remember is uh, here is that you uh, first see the grammar in the sentence. Right. If the grammar is right, that is one. Right. Second, then you also go with the meaning of the sentence. Right. The meaning of the answer choice has to be similar to what is written in the original sentence. Right. So you're saying grammar. And meaning. And meaning. But first is grammar and then meaning. Right. If the choice is grammatically right and it has the same meaning, that doesn't make any difference. Right. It has to be grammatically right and meaning has to be similar. Okay. So I, I got this one. So. The, the two commas are just, just to confuse a little because a person would get a little yes, because we, we've always been talking of commas right. so it's just, it's just an appositive, it gives information on Arnold right. but the main question was on the cola stain yes. which, which can be removed or which cannot so be removed this is one more way of looking at uh, um, identifying modifier error that is the pronoun. pronoun so that is a pronoun here so you will have to ask yourself to what does this that refer to yes so it refers to shirt yes so that refers to shirt. And Absolutely. So that refers to shirt. Yes. And again, if you look at choice E, yes, it has a word which is uh, it says which, which, which is the same as that pronoun, right? So it refers to what? It refers, it refers to, to shirt. shirt again, which cannot be removed. Right. So any answer choice that says it refers to stain, Absolutely. that's your answer choice, and this is choice B. Absolutely. Should we go ahead? Yes. So is this clear? Absolutely clear. Okay. So let's move.